What up, folks? This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop. And what I thought was never going to arrive has now arrived. I was actually seriously trying to think that the teaser trailer we got for The Last Jedi back in April might actually be the only trailer we got for the movie. I was starting to think they might be gravitating toward Adam Driver's suggestion that there be no trailers at all. But alas, a second one has come, and I have to be honest, all, for all of today, I was actually kind of hesitant to, to watch this trailer because of that tweet that Ryan Johnson left, which a lot of people took to mean that he was saying there were going to be spoilers in this trailer. So you hype us up for six months for the new trailer, and then when it comes out, you're going to dump spoilers on us? It's a trap! But uh, just a few hours ago, he, he refuted that. He basically called false alarm on it, saying he only meant to say, if you want to come to the movie completely 100% clean, then you wouldn't want to watch it. And so I, I kind of figured that's what he meant. And even if this trailer does contain spoilers, I was, I was bound to see it sooner or later. I go to the theaters all the time. So last time we heard from Luke, he made the announcement that it's time for the Jedi to end. You got some explaining to do, Luke. You meant, uh, it's time for the Jedi to end the Sith, right? No? Well, okay. Let's get this thing started. Can't wait any longer. All right, let's get a load of this. When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that... Is that snow? Is that Vader's lightsaber? Something truly special. Is it Luke talking or Snow? Something inside me has always been there. But now it's awake. And I need help. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. Now. Oh, I bet I know what race identity is. I bet I predicted it. If you have to, oh, Carrie Fisher, I might become what you were meant to be. Oh, man. Hey, remember, sis, we bet on it. <laughs> I made a $10 bet with my sister on what race true identity is, and the more the more I see of this movie, it it's starting to seem like I might be right. Luke is now saying the kind of power that Ray has, he's only seen it once before. Could I be right? <laughs> oh, man. If I am right about who she is, I can't wait to have bragging rights. And uh, any of my followers on Facebook know who that is. I don't know if I want to say so on uh, video here, but 
Oh man, we we got to see Snoke in the flesh for the first time. Uh, um. Oh boy. Well, I uh, I really do hope that that if that really is the final trailer, that that would just. Yeah, I, I think we, I think we pretty much seen enough. So, oh man. Oh, and uh, and it ends with a uh, Ray possibly uh, turning over to Kylo Ren. Oh man! Well, we only got two more months to wait, and tickets are now on sale. Oh man, I I cannot wait to see what's next in the Star Wars universe. And while I'm on the subject, I'm going to give my box office predictions right now. For each of the, the the first two trilogies, the second in each of those trilogies made just over two-thirds of what the first in those trilogies made. Like Empire Strikes Back made just two-thirds the amount of money that A New Hope made, and uh, the same with Attack of the Clones to Phantom Menace. And so Force Awakens grossed just shy of $2.1 billion. So for The Last Jedi, I'm going to right now predict $1.45 billion. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trailer reaction. Like if you liked. Subscribe for more. This is Pop Culture. I'm Alex Pop. And I can tell the Force is going to be strong with this one.